We are back, folks. Chris Waters here hosting stage one of GameSpot's 2013 E3 coverage live. And it's time to talk about Chronoblade and a next generation console that hasn't gotten a whole lot of chatter thus far at E3, the Ouya. And joining me on stage is Jordan? Jordan. Yes, and Steek. I remembered it. It was such a whirlwind. Thank you for coming. And you guys are here to show off some Chronoblade. Yep, that's it. Let's talk about, uh, first, before we get into Chronoblade, pick up this thing next to you right on the table. This is an Ouya controller. Uh, I'd, let's just say, you know, people watched press conferences yesterday. There's no mention of Ouya. There's a lot of, let's tell people what the Ouya is, and then uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and get into some Chronoblade action. Uh, the Ouya is a, uh, an Android-based console that's uh, it's very accessible for new developers, and uh, it's a it's a great way for people like us to get our game on a console really easily and uh, get a controller in people's hands so they can play our game the way that games were meant to be played. With a controller in your hands, and that one is it, does it feel nice? Do you, you like it? You tell me. Yeah, got the very similar <laughs> positioning to uh, an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, very sleek. There's not like stickers with information on them or anything. I like that. Very aesthetically pleasing. Now, is this properly linked, or do we need to holler at someone? Okay, here we go. It's a pair of your controller. Steve, I'm going to hand this to you. Uh -oh. I don't know if you can... Uh, if you, you Can you do what you need to do from the stage, or do we need to step off and uh, do it with the console? Folks, the console is back in our control room, so we've got a little bit of a disconnect here. Uh, we're just going to get it up and running shortly. Well, whatever we need to do, we could probably hide it with the, uh, the first trailer we've got for you. <laughs> Excellent. We'll get those guys to queue up the trailer, and then... Uh, does that actually need to go back in the back? Uh, yeah, they may need to take a look at it. All right, well then, why don't you, why don't you guys come up here and grab the controller? And uh, before we do that, Jordan, oh, give us the, in or is, can you control, does it work now? Nope. <laughs> all right, well then, tell us what Chrono Blade is all about. <laughs> um, I can talk over the trailer if you want. Cool. I think you guys have it on video one. Well then, hopefully they will, uh, Toss Ryan the controller. Here we go. He's coming to grab it, and it looks like... Why don't you guys try to put up the trailer real quick, and hopefully that will come up. Okay. That's all we can do from here. <laughs> there we go. Here it comes. So, uh... Ooh, yeah. Oh, unless that's just the boot screen for the Ooh, yeah. So, Chrono Blade is the action Across RPG side-scroller brawler game that uh, puts you in the role of a interdimensional champion fighting against a technological menace called the Chronarch Imperium that are destroying all the worlds of the multiverse. Interdimensional. They're not just destroying planets, they're destroying like entire dimensions. Entire existences folding up and packing in. That's not cool, man. Dang computers. Right? All right, so this is uh, the computer's transdimensional ship, or is that your ride? Nope, that looks sinister. Those are bad guys. Yep, these are the bad guys. Here they are uh, kind of cruising into a planet to take over, and uh, their main foot soldiers are these guys we call the Wedgeheads, uh, the Kronark soldiers. Where did you get that name from? That is totally out of the blue. So strange. Right? <laughs> it just came to us. <laughs> and uh, they're led by this uh, enigmatic figure called the Empress. Uh-huh. And that was... And so that those are the forces arrayed against you. Uh, what, who, who are you, intrepid hero, to stand against the Kronark Imperium? Did I say uh, that right? Absolutely. So, uh, as a member of the Pact, which is the uh, the union of these champions from different dimensions, you uh, you're the most powerful warrior from your reality, and you've g ganged up with all the other uh, heroes to try to fight together against them. Um, and everybody kind of brings their own abilities and powers to bear. Uh, what we're watching right now is or Arok. He's our uh, main pugilist punching guy, and uh, and you he can really probably tell what like he specializes punch. in. Yeah, that is a whole lot of punching. His fists are like twice the size of his head, three times. Yeah, it's a good ratio for a puncher. <laughs> and then this is uh, Lofi. She's our we call her a shadow summoner. She's kind of an interdimensional hunter hopper person. She summons beasties and rocks to fall on your enemies and turns them into stuff. And nice. So maybe she, does she, I mean, we see her doing some melee attacks here, but she's also got a little bit, maybe keeping them at range a little. Yeah, she's she's more of like a player-based AOE and also targeted AOE player. Uh huh. Uh, kind of main, medium range. And then uh, Arok is definitely like a, a heavy hitter, single target war machine. 
Now these are two two of the playable characters or the two playable characters? Right now we only have these two available, but we've got four slated to come out soon. Okay, from, you know, champions from other dimensions. Absolutely. Now it's interesting because that the aesthetic of the the Cronarch Imperium we saw in that first trailer seems to it it's di decidedly different from the guy you know the pugilists there he seemed more of a brute barbarian you know his society did not seem to be one that was ruled by machines absolutely absolutely and that's one of the things that we're really excited about with Chrono Blade is that we're going to allow players to kind of travel through all these different worlds collect gear from them their characters will sort of be reimagined as they go to steampunk or cyberpunk or Mad Max steam thoughts themed places, and, uh, and you'll be able to mix and match parts from them, it, just like any other awesome item-based RPG. So the characters themselves will change to fit the uh, dimensions you travel to, or you'll just gain new loot there that you can then change your look when you go to the travel, travel there? Right now we're talking about new loot. Um, you just you get things that look like they're from that place. So when you go to Steampunk, you know, Arak will be more of like a, a bouncer, bruiser guy, maybe. Or, With a uh, monocle, I hope. Oh, absolutely. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Somebody write that down. And, uh, you know, so Steampunk, you talked about Mad Max, a pertinent reference given yesterday's reveal of there's totally a Mad Max video game because... Yeah, we're totally, totally excited about that. That's pretty cool. Are you still about I also read up that there's a new Mad Max movie in production. I did not know that. <laughs> but Chrono Blade, uh, so you guys are coming to the Ouya, and that's, you know... It's, you said it's a, a, it's a platform that's easy for developers to, to put their games on. Is that what drew you to that platform? This sort of presents a nice opportunity for you to, to take your vision there, or did it just seem like, you know, this, the Ouya has recently, you know, launched its through, through its Kickstarter program, very successful, and, you know, getting a lot of uh, sort of good groundswell among developers because of that ease. Is that sort of what drew you guys to it? Uh, that's definitely part of it. Uh, we we definitely knew ahead of time that we wanted people to be playing in co-op and PvP, and, and controllers uh, are something that we sort of de designed the controls around. Uh -huh. You've got four abilities, four items, so that we can map it easily to a controller. And uh, and the Ouya specifically was really helpful for us because uh, it's a it's kind of an open market. It's free to play model that that we use, and so it, it works really well with the way that they've set up their uh, their system. All right, so talk a little bit about free-to-play model, because, you know, that's obviously that's been huge on PCs for years now. And actually, it looks like we are we're seeing some gameplay on screen, so forget that free-to-play nonsense. Tell me what's going on on the screen. And we'll talk about free-to-play later. Cool. So this Loot. Is, this is Lofi running around grabbing some items real quick. Uh, this is our, our initial uh, demo for Oya. Um, and, uh, and it's basically a survival mode that you can play with one or two players right now. Uh, so Lofi's here is a. She's got her four abilities that you can see down there on the on the right, and her four items that are mapped to the arrow buttons there on the left. And uh, you can probably recognize the health and energy orbs. Red and blue. There's something about those. A little familiar. <laughs> and this is like, but you are just straight beating up these dudes and and comboing together your attacks. And are they? They don't. These abilities don't appear to be on. Any kind of cooldown, they're just kind of except. Oh, actually, there was a, just there we go. I'm seeing cooldown meters there. So everything that you're everything that you're seeing right now is basically uh, a core attack. So all those none of those take energy. They don't have cooldowns. Um, but uh, if he hits the L1, L, L2, yeah, that's a that's a special ability, and they're sort of situational, really helpful to continue your combos. Yeah, and, and those uh, those skills are, are uh, based on a skill tree, so you'll be able to customize your character very uh, very minutely by going there and, and deciding what you're going to use. And what is this? Uh, I I don't want to call it a soccer ball that's floating over her shoulder, but it's that little black and white familiar. What what is that little guy there? Uh, so so we we call this a, an eidolon. Um, it, it, it's actually a creature that's sort of a companion to Lofi, uh, whose name is Not, and, and the, the powers of that creature sort of change based on um, different items that you give to to it um, that, that you know change what it what it looks like and uh, and how it works. All right, now all this punchy, kicky, idol on smashing. This uh, you know, obviously you've got to sort of survive in this area. Lofi is making pretty sh 
short work of these guys who are who are standing in her way. Uh, how does the challenge level sort of ramp up here in Chrono Blade as you combo your way through? Uh, well, these guys are obviously the, uh, the really the introduction characters, but uh, eventually you run into guys who will, uh, and you'll run into them here pretty quick. They'll shoot at you, throw down grenades, they'll, uh, they'll block you. We have, we have, so we have a light attack, heavy attack, block, block breaking abilities, we got dodging. Um, and so you really are, are you going to be forced to use all of those things in order to, to get further in the long of the game. We really wanted to push a skill-based kind of Twitch-style uh, combat system with this. Something kind of like you might play in an arcade um, with your friends. Yeah, and actually, you know, that health is looking pretty low, so clearly some of these guys are putting up a good fight, and now we see the flashing red orb of doom, and will the demoer die during a live gameplay demo? Oh, absolutely is going to, because it's survival mode, but... Um, <laughs> Death is inevitable in survival mode, despite what the name may imply. Uh, but hopefully we'll get a little more score out of this. And survival mode, you know, sometimes that's about surviving a certain amount of waves. Sometimes that's about chasing a score. Is all that stuff sort of sort of core to this to this mode here in Chrono Blade? Yeah, there's actually there's there's lots of different gameplay modes that, that we have, including um, on, on Ouya we have multiplayer, which is uh, which is pretty cool. Um, now, what do you mean by multiplayer? Because we talked about cooperative two-player, you know, one person being uh, this character, the other one being the or Orox. Aurok. Aurok. <laughs> uh, what, what do you mean by multiplayer? Uh, tell so, me. So we tend to have have both eventually um, on every platform that we go to. That's that's sort of one of the things that we built this game around. Uh -huh. um, but uh, right now, the what's in the Uya? Uh, right now we have a the one and two player co-op survival mode, and that's the really the kind of the combat demo to show people what the game is like. Um, but uh, we're definitely in progress on PvP. Team-based 2v2 PvP guild system. You know, it's 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 a it's a big game and it's getting bigger. And it's getting even bigger now. We'll just take a quick look at Orok in action and see that what those giant blade fist gauntlet extravaganza things he's got clamped on. Uh, but as we're seeing Orok fight. Anything else you guys want to mention about Chrono Blade here? Yeah, so so the gameplay that you're seeing here is obviously very sort of you know beat 'em up uh, arcade style gameplay, but behind this is a pretty full featured RPG as well. Um, I mentioned the skill trees before. There's also uh, a, a very uh, you know fully featured uh, inventory system where you can you can equip your character with different kinds of armor and weapons um, and things like that. So uh, so it's it's sort of it's it's a hybrid as Jordan mentioned before of those two genres that we think is pretty interesting. It hasn't really been seen before. And of course, uh, underneath it all, that insatiable lust that most gamers have for loot. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ab absolutely. Yeah. We, have, we have that. Loot. loot. Have, yeah. Sorry. I, that was terrible. <laughs> you were saying? Yeah, so there's, there's actually there's there's a, a ton of items in this game. Um, there's, I, I, don't, I don't remember how many looks of armors there are. Maybe you remember? Well, right now there's, uh, I think the number is 2,377 2, uh, pieces of equipment that you can get, and that's just looks, it's not counting all the variations from stats. That is not a small number. <laughs> and there's there's lots of different properties that go along with those those different armors and weapons that you can find as well. So so there's really, there's a lot to explore. There, there's a lot of loot, as you as you mentioned, to crave in this game, and, uh, and, and really, you know, search and explore the game looking for. So Chrono Blade, coming to the Ouya, going to be free to play? Yes, it is. And uh, also available on Facebook, what are you saying? Uh, yeah, we're in closed beta right now, but we'll be entering open beta here pretty quick. And if anyone is curious about getting themselves into that open beta, what should they do? Chronoblade.com. Chronoblade got to... Chronoblade.com. All right, uh, Jordan, Steek, thank you so much for coming by, showing off some Chronoblade and uh, Ouya demo here on our live show. Thank you. Much appreciated. All right, folks, that was your glimpse at the Ouya because, man, there's more than just two next generation consoles. Didn't you know? Speaking of next generation, coming up next, we've got our demo for Destiny. We're going to be taking a look at Bungie's new awesomeness that we just saw gameplay for yesterday, and I'm going to try to keep it under control and not go total giddy fanboy all over it. Uh, but first, we're going to take a quick break. We'll see you back shortly.